Have you ever found yourself in need of some medical attention while in Poland, but you couldn't find an English-speaking doctor? If so, this video is for you. Keep on watching. Hi, welcome to Languages with Marta. In today's video, I'll show you some really useful, maybe not life-saving phrases, um, but still very useful phrases that um, you can use when you're going to a doctor for your visit. But before we talk about um, what you can say when visiting a doctor in Poland, what's really important is to be able to alarm people that you need help. Obviously, if you're choking, for example, it's universally understood um, that you need help. But if it's something not as urgent, then you can uh, use the word pomocy or ratunku. The other one feels a bit more dramatic. All right, but now you're at the doctor's and you have some symptoms, something's going on. And so how do you say that you're not feeling well or if something's hurting? You could use a very universal phrase, which is boli mnie. And then you insert the body part. <sighs> boli mnie głowa. My head is hurting. Here you need to know the names of body parts, of course. Another phrase that you could use is mam plus the symptom. So for example, mam katar. I have a runny nose. Or mam gronczkę. I have a fever. Mam zatkany nos. I have a stuffy nose. Mam temperaturę. I have high temperature. All right, so at this point, the caregiver, the doctor will probably ask you how long have you had this symptom? And they'll say, od kiedy or od jak dawna, for how long? And you could say, od dwóch dni or od trzech dni, od czterech dni, od pięciu dni for, for two days, for three days, for four days, for five days or if it's been going on for um, a bit longer then od tygodnia, for a week od dwóch tygodni, for two weeks um, od miesiąca, for a month hopefully you're never in that situation the doctor might ask you if you've taken any medicine for it um, and so if you've googled your symptoms, like we always do, and have taken some over-the-counter drugs. So if you're a man, you would say, tak brałem. And if you're a woman, you would say, tak brałam. Right? And then after that, you put the, for example, the, the brand name of the drug or just something generic. All right, that's pretty much it. I feel like the bulk of uh, the talking is on the doctor's side. Uh, you basically just respond, really. So I should probably tell you what you should expect to hear when you're visiting a doctor. So when you first enter, uh, the doctor might probably say Co pana do mnie sprowadza? Or co panią do mnie sprowadza? What brings you here? We're using pana panią, so that's that formal you. So the first one is when addressing a man and the second one when addressing a woman. Or they could say Czym mogę pomóc? How can I help you? They may ask you to sit down. Proszę usiąść. Or they may ask you to lie down. Proszę się położyć. They may ask you to open your mouth. Proszę otworzyć usta. They may ask you to take deep breaths. Proszę głęboko oddychać. They may ask you to undress from the waist up. Proszę rozebrać się do pasa. They might examine you and poke around and ask boli, which means does it hurt? And then at the end they might give you a prescription and say przepisze panu or przepisze pani and then whatever they prescribe you. Which literally means I'll prescribe you this and that. So these are the phrases that you might hear from your doctor. And that's it for this short video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. I really hope that you never have to use it, but it's still good practice to know these phrases and know what someone might say to you. As usual, I highly encourage you to start studying with me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!